Good morning. It has been an eventful start to the day. Let me show you why. My garland around my window fell down in the middle of the night. It looks like it just fell off the hook, so that is reassuring. But unfortunately, it usually falls off the hook every year, and then I have to put a new one up, or the hook will fall down. Hopefully, the hook is still secure and is not coming loose. But this morning, I am on my way to an orthodontist appointment. This tooth right here is starting to move slightly forward and I have had my braces off for like 12 years and so I don't know why it is moving forward and I just want to make sure my retainer still fits right because I wear this thing religiously. In 12 years I've maybe missed wearing it five nights and then if I do miss it I wear it during the day. So I want to get that checked out because I care about my teeth and then I have a bunch of errands to run. We're going to eat lunch with my grandparents so gonna take you guys along with me. I have all my stuff laid out here that needs to go with us. This stuff we're gonna drop off at Goodwill. I gotta go to the post office to mail these and pick up some packages. And then I have my list of all the places I need to go, my retainer, and then my grocery list. And I need to go to the dentist because I think they messed up on like an insurance bill. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the car and I will see you in the car on the way. It currently says that it is 25 degrees outside on my vehicle, except I think it's probably going to get colder here in a minute. So actually I'm going to re-update you because my vehicle is parked in the garage, so usually it drops as I drive. As I was packing up the vehicle, I realized I forgot like three different things inside, so I had to run back in, run out. So hopefully I have everything that I need today. I did all of the Christmas shopping for my grandma and grandpa because didn't want to go out and shop for like health reasons until I have a present, the last present that I had to pick up to drop off to them today so then I figured I'd stay for lunch. I'm really hoping this orthodontist appointment goes well and they have good news about my tooth because it's just a slight move but it's enough for me to know it has moved and I don't want it to get worse and then have regrets that I didn't have it looked at it to the orthodontist and I was going to give you an update on the temperature 17 degrees this morning but as I was driving here I was thinking about how I have not been here for a long time and brought back a story of when I got my braces off so my best friend at the time I did not tell her that I was getting my braces off because I wanted it to be a surprise when I came to school like showed her that I got my braces off she was mad at me because I did not tell her that I got my braces off and like gave me the cold shoulder all day long because like, I don't know, there was like jealousy behind it because she still had hers on or she was just sad that I didn't tell her, but I literally told no one, like only my parents knew and my brothers and she was mad. But that was a long time ago. That was when I was in eighth grade. So we moved on past it and we're fine. But anyway, I'm gonna go get this tooth checked out and there was an accident over here. You can see the police lights. Um, I think the, like a car just hit another car, like rear-ended them. So they're out here uh, shoveling the glass and stuff up. Made it out of the orthodontist. So he told me that like the way my tooth moved, 99% of people wouldn't even notice it or care about it, but I'm the 1%. And so he is giving me a new retainer for free, which I'm like really excited about because they're like 150 bucks. But I'm gonna have a clear retainer in the bottom to like hold my tooth in place. Hopefully that's comfortable. I have a clear one in the top and I know when you get a new one, they're like super thick and definitely not the most comfortable like because your teeth don't touch anymore. So that will be different to get used to, but I'm glad that my tooth won't be moving forward anymore and I can keep my straight teeth. So I had to come back in two weeks and get that. Grandma, I like your big overalls. Thank you. No, with the overalls. I've had them for years. Made it back home, got the groceries in. It is cold and brisk today. There's no breeze or anything, but it is chilly. But on the bright side, I got my garland back up and so far it has stayed. So that is good. 
And then over here, I have my groceries that I need to get put away. I went shopping at Aldi. That's the only grocery store I had to go today. Luckily, they had everything that I needed except one thing, which was grape juice concentrate because I try to drink a cup of that in the winter because it's supposed to help you from getting the stomach flu. I will have to pick up that at some point, but there's not really a rush on it. But yes, like I said, I went to Aldi, definitely the cheapest place to get your groceries. And I like how it's pretty basic, so I don't get stuck buying a lot of things that I did not put on my list, which I'll show you a few of the things that I picked up. I only got maybe five things that were not on my list, so I'd say that was pretty darn good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unpacked and then I'll show you guys. Really quick and briefly, I will show you guys what I got at the grocery store. We're into eating like a breakfast meal during the weekend now. So I got some sausage to go with breakfast pie crust because I want to make an apple pie soon. Cheese requested by my husband. I got more avocado oil because ours is almost out. Aldi randomly will have like new foods to try and they have these peaches with cinnamon. Like, there's real cinnamon in there and I am so excited to try these. And I got some salsa. This cheese was for a meal. I'd never buy this because it's not good for you but Sometimes you need to just live a little. Parmesan cheese, some chicken salad. I think we're gonna have that for supper tonight. I got some butter, I got two bricks of it because it was on sale. I got some turkey bacon, which I need to make up a bunch of this for breakfast so I can bring it to work. I got Jay some bacon, cheeses. I like these for just like a snack. Jay requested some bagels, so I got a pack to freeze and then a pack for him to eat now. Biscuits for breakfast, cream cheese, because I want to make this like pumpkin cream cheese dip that you dip fruit in, and then Jay needed some for his bagels. These, because there is this recipe that Jay and I love, this salad that is in Chrissy Teigen's cookbook, and then you just crush up a few of these and put them on top. For the most part, I eat really healthy, like 90% of what I eat is really healthy, but I do still enjoy food. Like I have a frozen pizza at least once a week because it's my favorite food and I'm gonna enjoy some frozen pizza and I do love hot dogs. So I wanted to make some, um, oh, what are they called? Pig in a blankets. So if you don't know what a pig in a blanket is, it's a hot dog with a crescent roll wrapped around it and we had some crescent rolls in the fridge so i figure i'll make pig in a blanket got some string cheese for lunch chips to go with our salsa and then i got bread and these two things for these on my way to work if i do not have some kind of granola bar when i leave for work i cannot make it to breakfast so i clock in for work at 4 45 in the morning and since my body is up i'm just so hungry so I always, these are not usually what I pick. I always get the kind bars, but Aldi does not have kind bars. They did have some, but they were super expensive and I can get them a lot cheaper at like Walmart or Fairway. And so I just picked up these two options for now since I wasn't gonna go to another grocery store. Then I got some milk, some different fruits and vegetables over here. I got a random thing of cheese to try. I always get Jay a new kind of cheese to try. He likes like aged cheese, he can, like canned stuff. And then I have a bunch of fruits and vegetables over here that I'm gonna wash up real quick. If you do not wash your fruits and vegetables, you need to start doing so. They are disgusting. They get sprayed, they're touched by people. There's dirt on them. Not that it's bad to eat dirt, but you need to clean your vegetables and fruit. So let's go ahead and do that. To show you guys how gross your fruits and vegetables are. So this is Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak, which is just an essential oil blend, vegetable and fruit cleaner. You can pause the video here if you want and see like the ingredients. But I would like to clarify really quick because last time I showed this, I had a lot of people in the comments accusing me of washing my fruits and vegetables with soap because I did not say what I was using. Because when you do put this in the water, it does bubble up, but I can guarantee you, I promise you, it is not soap and do not wash your stuff with soap. So what I'm gonna do is pour just a little bit of this in some water, which I'll show you here in a second. And then I'm gonna put my fruits and vegetables in, switch them around and let them soak for two to three minutes. And then I will rinse them off and we'll let the water settle and I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a splash of this in. 
And then I'm gonna put some water. I have some things in the water, so I'm gonna go ahead and just swish them around, kind of rub them, and then let them soak for two to three minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them and put them in that colander. As you can see, all the stuff that came off my veggies and fruit by washing them, you can see all that dirt and just like floaty stuff. Glad it's not on my stuff anymore. Something I should add, if you guys have not washed your grocery bags in a while, you might wanna do so. Mine are looking disgusting. So these are definitely going down to the wash. Real quick, before I put my camera away for the evening, I have to show you guys what I got at Goodwill. If you don't know, I love garage sailing. I love thrifting. I just love good thrift finds. And I went to our Goodwill today because I had time and I thought, why not? I have a gift card. It would be fun. The Goodwill in the town that like I go to do my grocery shopping and stuff, they don't have like the best Goodwill. I would say that it's not organized well. You'll find things that just don't belong in areas that they don't belong. And everything's just like piled on shelves rather than like this way so you can like see everything they just like stack things but i found a bunch of things today and i'm really excited so i have to show you guys because who does not love a good thrift find so let's start with the most boring thing i got two pairs of scrub pants these are the gray's anatomy brand and if you are a nurse you know that like this is a good brand and an expensive brand and they were four bucks so I got a pair of these. Now on to the more exciting things. I have one, two, three, four, five more things to show you guys. The first thing I got is this glass mixing bowl. So I've gotten into a bread making lately and it's something that I'm really hoping to expand on this winter. And when I make more than one loaf, I need more than one bowl to let my bread rise in. Right now when I've been making more than one loaf, I'll use like a soup pot, but then when I want to make supper and I need the soup pot, I have bread in it. So I got an extra glass bowl. This was $5. It's Pyrex brand, super clean, no chips. So I thought that would be a good addition to my kitchen. Then I got this little baking loaf stone. I believe this is Pamper Chef brand, but I actually really don't know. This is what it says on the bottom, TS5. And when I Googled it, Pamper Chef popped up right away. So I'm not really for sure, but I just thought this was a beautiful color. And I love like stones rather than um, like Teflon stuff. And then this is kind of like just a fun purchase. So when I was younger and I used to go with my family members like to like a church potluck or any kind of potluck, my mom had these trays and we didn't have enough for everybody in the family. So sometimes one of us would have to use like a paper plate. And I always wanted to use one of these trays, but you put like your silverware over here, that spot for sides and your like main dishes. These were $4 and I got three of them. So if Jay and I are ever invited to a potluck, I will most definitely be bringing these. On to my like second most exciting find of the day. Oh, I'm so excited. I got a laundry basket like this. So this summer I am putting up a clothesline. I said that last year and I never got to it, but this year is the year for my clothesline. My mom said she would get me one for my birthday and we just never got it up. But I'm just so excited to go outside with my fresh sheets and put them in this laundry basket. I think it's beautiful. This was $4. If I ever find another one, I will probably buy another one. I got one. And then my last thing that I got that I'm the most excited about, I had debated buying one of these for myself a while back, but didn't end up doing it. And I'm so grateful that I didn't because I was in Goodwill in the little kitchen aisle and I was like, oh, it was just like, oh, there it was. I got myself. Hopefully it works. I plugged it in. The light came on, but a Presto food dehydrator. If you don't know what a dehydrator is, this is how you can do like your own spices and herbs. You can dehydrate your fruit, that kind of thing, but I won't have to use my oven and leave that running, especially in the summer. These things retail for over $70 and I got it for five. So heck of a deal, super excited about it. Can't wait until canning season next year and I can start dehydrating with this. But one last thing, we're gonna open a package. 
I have a PO box now, so if you guys would like to send me any letters or anything, I'll put it right here on the screen. I would love to hear from you guys. And someone actually already sent me something. I checked it today, and this company called One Body, One Mind sent me some stuff. They are a company that has natural skincare products, and they have some other things. I'm going to give this stuff a shot because I love natural skin products. I, somebody would love to learn how to make my own. I actually have a book that's coming in the mail that is about natural skin products, so I can try making my own, but let's see what I got. And I will tag her business down below. It is a mom that is a nurse. She's married to a firefighter. They have two little boys. So if you are wanting to check our shop and support a small business, definitely give her a a check out. And here we have Peppermint Mocha Tinted Lip Balm. Makes my lips more of like a dark pink color. Feels super good and it's like has that tingly feeling. But this is a Velvet Wise Serum. Look at this little bottle. Now one thing I love about this already is there's an expiration date on it and there's some, this is called Soothing Serenity Tea. And it's beautiful. Definitely check out her stuff. This is super fun and I'm excited to try it. And once I have a better view on the products, I will most definitely be giving a review later. Check her out. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining along and I hope you guys have the best week. It is the week of Christmas and I'm excited to spend time with my friends and family. So I hope you guys do the same.